Hi, welcome to NumPy tutorial series. In this lesson, we will cover simple comparisons in the NumPy arrays. We will also introduce another very convenient and effective way to address elements in NumPy array called masking. But before we start, please subscribe to Badger the Teacher and never miss our educational videos. We start with a very simple and intuitive comparison operations. Let's perform less than two operations. We have an array initialized with 1, 2 and 3. As you see, the result of comparison is an array of the same size as our initial array. Note that these operations don't affect the content of original array. 1, 2 and 3 are always there. However, the resulting array contains booleans. Right, true if element is less than 2 and false otherwise. The next example checks whether array is greater than 3. That means that again all the elements are compared to 3. This time result array contains false 3 times. Because there is no element to be greater than 3 in our array. The key takeaway here is that NumPy runs comparisons element-wise. Which is nice. I guess there are also many other comparisons available in NumPy. You can also use less than or equal to, greater than or equal to, not equal to and equal to. I think we don't have to stop here. Yes, but if you need, pause the video and take your time exploring these examples. You can also use NumPy functions instead of operators. If you are curious, visit the documentation and check what arguments can this function take. Please remind me, how can I get the documentation right in my Jupyter Notebook? Sure, you can use info function or two question marks. Can we combine several comparison in one expression? Sure, you can use AND or... The first example returns true if the element is less than 5 and greater than 0. We see that all the elements in the array are less than 5 and greater than 0, so true three times is returned. Let me explain the second example. It returns true if element is less than 2 or element is greater than or equal to 3. 1 is less than 2, so there is true at the index 0 in the result array. 2 is not less than 2. Also, it is not greater than or equal to 3, so false is the result for index 1. 3 is not less than 2, but it is though greater than or equal to 3, so it, its result is true. Well done! The last example returns true if element is not equal to zero. Parentheses are important to separate operations and preserve correct order. Can we use textual representation of AND and OR instead of symbols we have just seen? No, we cannot. For Boolean NumPy arrays, the symbolic representation of AND and OR is almost always the desired operation. Instead of AND, OR, NOT operators, you can use NumPy bitwise functions. I see that the results are identical to the ones achieved with operators. I guess in two-dimensional arrays comparison operators works the same way? Yes, the result this time is two-dimensional array also containing boolean value for each element of the array. So here we have two examples. The first one checks every element against the condition not equals to zero. True value is returned for non-zeros. The second example checks every element against the condition less than or equal to zero. So, for elements that are equal to 1, the result is false. You might be wondering why all the previous information was so important. Actually, it's because masking is based on what you have just learned. And masking is a really powerful and convenient way of indexing elements. Let's imagine we have an array and we want to get the elements that are less than 2. You can address these elements by just placing comparison condition in brackets instead of index. Wow, that's really powerful. Why it works? Usually we pass integers as indexes. It works because comparison expression returns array with booleans and NumPy can use this boolean information to retrieve all you need. So in masking, we pass boolean array instead of integer indices. 
we actually don't know the indices, but we know that we want to get elements with values less than 2. Let us see some other masking examples. Here they are. In the first example, we get elements with values less than or equals to 2. These values are 1 and 2. In the second example, we get elements that are not equal to 0, so all elements are returned. In the last example, we ask for elements that are less than 0. Empty array was returned as there is no such element. That's it for today. We have covered the most simple comparison operations and introduced masking. In the next part of this lesson, you will learn some other extremely useful functions. Please subscribe to Badger the Teacher and don't miss the second part of this lesson. See you! Bye!